So we can see here we got a two channel setup at the bottom, but overhead speaker. So this is going to be a little theater because there's multiple channels, as you can see, set up with the two mains in the front. I don't see a, a center channel, but he, he gets a good strong center image because he's sitting in near field. First thing we notice is that we have draperies on the right and a closet on the left. So that's going to be two big issues. One, the closet will act as a low-frequency absorber based on the depth of the closet itself, and hopefully it's full of clothes. And in the right side, we just have draperies, which is middle and high-frequency management, but it's inconsistent. And sound loves consistency in, in small rooms. So once again, a, a usage and volume situation. This room is way too small for all of these channels. You're never going to get the separation. You know, the, the sound fields are just going to overlap. You're not going to hear any uh, separation at all. So once again, a little bit too small for what the client's trying to do here. Let's look at the next one. So this is another two-channel setup. Very narrow room, though. And these very narrow rooms, you have to be really, really careful with. A little bit of treatment, but not the right kind. And definitely not enough. He's got the ceiling treated for middle and high frequency absorption with some foam. And those are not diffusers. Okay, They don't contribute anything to the science of diffusion. They look like diffusers, and the company wants you to think that. But they're not. They're sound absorbers. So. Not enough low frequency management in the room. I don't see any, to be honest with you. So problems uh, all the way across the board in that room. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, come another you know improper setup where we have the speaker really close to the wall, and then the right channel is in a corner, basically going to be in a corner, with a door, with glass, and a table and. We all know that that area has to be uh, left open. So, Same situation, a little bit bigger uh, view so we can see a little bit what's going on. Got a beer on the table. That's always encouraging. So left channel. Look at the left channel in the corner. Not good. Big console underneath. It's not going to sound very open. It's going to sound very compressed. And we have a chair sitting pretty close to the left channel speaker right in its direct path. So setup is not very good here. It would be best to set up on the long wall and put the window behind you and, you know, go from there. So here we have a room that's got, it looks like lots of foam. So we have sound absorption technology. They're not diffusers, even though they kind of, companies uh, want you to think that, that that's what they are, but they're not. I don't know what's on the other wall surfaces, but at least he's treating each surface area and enough of each surface area with the same rate and level of absorption. Now, it's not enough because they don't look deep enough to be enough uh, treatment, but you know, at least there's some consistency and stuff in, in what's going on. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.